Some campaign map ideas are pretty crazy looking these days. And one idea comes from Flexdon, who wants to know how to ally the Erratus infected Spartans to, with the AI to simulate Erratus, a banished AI, taking over the players to work for the banished to prevent the player from completing the map as they kind of work together. While this sort of thing should be as simple as setting the team to attackers, sadly, it doesn't work the way we would like, so we'll have to script it. The good news is, the script is easy to implement and takes only a couple minutes to set up, so let's see what we've got. There's no map setup other than, you know, making sure that your map has the right spawns for everybody and you want your AI set up. Um, I've already got an AI spawner set up. Um, I didn't really change anything. You want to keep their team as neutral. That's important. Um, make sure they're neutral. And right now, since we only want the banished AI to be working with the Erratus infected Spartans, we don't have to worry about their squads or anything. Uh, but if, let's say, you wanted Marines to help the human players, then you would have to worry about that. But since we're not, we're going to just go straight into it. All right, with our new script brain, let's open it up and and get this rolling. Luckily, this time we don't have to worry about any variables. We're just gonna go straight into events AI, go down here to on squad spawn, place right there. Next, we're going to grab a, for each object, and that's in logic, logic, yes. Place it right there. This is important because this is gonna get the players and ally them. Okay, so now we need to get all the players. And to do that, we just go to players and get all players. Player right there. There you go. Now we are going to ally them with the infected Spartans. And to do that, we're going up here to events. Or no, AI advanced. And we just grab that very first one called ally squad with three for all player. Because they are not, it's not a team game. Even though the game technically is team based. It is not a team game. It's a free for all game mode. So team related things won't work. So we have to work with allegiances. And technically, even though the humans are allied or part of team one, which is Eagle and the infected are part of team two, which is Cobra, we can't just straight up go, okay, turn the team on the object properties to Cobra and that's fine, right? Well, it doesn't work that way. Unfortunately, not in free for all game modes, even if there's a team like thing going on and that's what this is for so now we're going to go and grab in players it's going to be towards the bottom i think yeah it's uh actually towards the middle get player ffa allegiance this is their allegiance this is basically what team they're supposed to be on technically we're gonna put that right there and i kind of made a mess up here we're gonna disconnect this Pull this over here because we're going to need a branch. This is very important. And I'm glad I caught that before I screwed anything up. So we're going to go to logic and go ahead and place that branch there. So that way I won't forget. And we're going to plug in execute for object on the branch. We're going to put if true right here. Okay. Now that we have that set up, what we're going to do is we're going to get whenever the AI spawns, it's going to check every player in the game. And... It's going to compare with our logic compare node of compare teams. Go ahead and place that right there. We're going to plug the team right here from get free for all allegiance into team A. And we can select team B ourselves from this. So there we go. So this is going to check when the AI spawns, it's going to get every player in the game. And it's going to run this. It's going to say, uh, is this player allied or part of team two and if they are then it's going to ally the squad with that player in which case it would share the same allegiance with every player who is allied with team two as well which is all the rest of the infected spartans as well and if they're not they will not ally with those players which would be the humans who are allied with team one so now all we need to do is connect squad back here to squad there and this will do it. This will be all you need. I'm going to go ahead and just rearrange this to a nice, a nicer little setup here. But there you go. That's better. Okay. And that's all you have to do. We can't test it in uh, Forge modes, test mode. 
unfortunately, because just like a few of the other modes and things we set up, this is something you can only really test in the game mode itself, which you can't do in Forge. So let's head over to an infection game and see what happens. Okay, so I turned on four bots. So two will be with me and two will be uh, zombies or infected. If we go out here, oh, the AIs are definitely going to shoot at me. Go ahead and get myself killed here. Uh, uh, do something. There you go. Good lord. Okay, so now that I'm infected, I'm gonna go over here to the AI. And it should show up purple, which is, there we go. My reticle is purple, because purple is my allied set color. And there we go. And we can run around them. Just mess around. Do whatever. So that's how you can ally your AI to the Erratus affected Spartans. And it's, it was really a lot simpler than uh, when I originally started trying to figure this out. I, I can promise you that. Now, all players who fall to the Banished in your campaign maps can be repurposed into Banished Fighting Machines. I really like this idea because it adds a new element to linear missions. And it even integrates the reason as to how the Spartans get infected by the Banished AI in the first place. My content has been a little slower paced than normal, not because I'm making it as often, or not making it as often, but because I understand oversaturation and I don't want to overwhelm subscribers with a new video every five hours. So I'm pacing myself and pacing them out so you have time to try everything out for yourself before jumping into something new. I'll see you guys on the next round.